Hello, Morticia. How you doing, beautiful? Here you are. Who's a pretty girl? Who's a lucky girl? That's right. You are. You'll see why in a sec. Screwed on. Put this out of my way. Yes, yes, yes. Let me walk. Okay, now I can tell you more about it. About the test for her. you love me today little do you know your secrets going to be told in a minute a few minutes anyway gather the rest of the stuff it's uh, by APT they have a, a um, R&D center in Seattle uh, check that out I had it so cool it's an early pregnancy test for cats but with her being father if she is pregnant, she's far enough along. The way they told me it works is that using, I can use uh, a pea clump of, of clay litter. Um, the clay litter holds the urine, and this is some kind of solution that helps transfer, I forget what, what they call it. I think, it's, I think it's a hormone that helps transfer it from the urine inside that's kept inside the clay onto the testing stick. It's a prototype, so they're, they're, they're using existing, existing hardware or the case, I don't know what they're called. They're existing pregnancy tests to save money. Actually opened up one of these before to test. Uh. Okay. Now, okay. Let me go grab the peak clump. 
were too. Hey, beautiful eyes, I'm not petting you enough. She nipped my elbow earlier because I wasn't petting her enough. This stuff stinks. Ugh. I'm going to need this. Look at that. <laughs> that's so neat. I hope that's focusing. I can't tell. It'll be a minute before I see it on the iPad. I see a lot of people saying that it's a prank. <laughs> oh, look at that. Fresh one, too. Down. Yeah. Well, that's a nice cylinder one. Yeah, that's your pee. Okay, now what this is I had to do was open this. This is not for human use. For I'm supposed to break this apart, spritz this onto an area in the middle, put this in it, and then wait a minute. <laughs> She's like, I don't like that smell. <laughs> it was falling apart. Okay, I see a control line. Note of the time, count seconds. It's falling apart. 
they must be using a different clay there when they showed me. And they gave me a tour, it was like when they were developing, they have these litter boxes that have um, pellets in it. Um, kind of like you would see in the litter boxes that flush, I guess, you know, that's like going to the toilet. <laughs> you know, like that smell, huh? And it like the, the, the pee would go through it into a drain, into a little a, uh, receptacle to catch it. Okay. Still nothing. Yeah, she's like, she's not impressed. This does not smell good. Mostly that thing. Okay. I'm not seeing anything on this one. Uh, I just fell apart. Too small. I need to get one of those micro magnifying lenses. I can print small, it's hard for me to read. Okay, plus sign. The window indicates pregnant. Minus sign, not pregnant. No, oh, no sign means inconclusive. As Okay, let's try the other one. Yeah, it's a sticker. Oh, sorry, Marticia. Oh, it's, oh, I just touched the iPad with it. Uh, Maybe this one will be fresher. We'll try something different. Without breaking it apart, well, it broke apart. Uh. <laughs> it's giving me such a stink eye. Okay. I'm not going to hold this one up. I'm just going to hold it together. Yeah, the general hope for this is for easier testing of uh, chromatic ultrasounds or x-rays. Her eyes are so big. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sort of keep it upright. Oh, geez, that's pretty too much. It's like turning to soft clay. Maybe it won't crumble. Okay, there's the control line. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> mm. She's pregnant. <laughs> And 
And this trick is, this is a total prank, by the way. I'm hoping that maybe somebody will see it out there and thinking, hey, maybe we could do something like that. But she is really pregnant. I would say about 95%, 98%. I believe that she has two kittens. Yes, this was a lead up to saying that she's pregnant. Okay, let me get rid of this. <laughs> Somebody asked me, are you scamming everybody? I was like, no. I wasn't. I was pranking. I believe she has two kittens. At least. Thank you for being such a helpful assistant to convincing people. I believe she has one kitten on each side. First movement I spotted this past Saturday, and I was kind of convinced that when she freaked out because she started feeling kittens moving around inside of her. Okay. Yeah. Water. Which was on spray, white spray. <laughs> okay, who actually believed that? Or was more inclined to think of it that was it was real instead of uh, a prank. I'm hoping that somebody would actually be inspired to create it because basically it's the reason why a human pregnancy doesn't work is uh, it's a different it's different um, hormones and if they were if somebody were to probably identify the correct hormone maybe this could be possible although with the actual pee and not pee clumps this is an actual one, let me see. Uh, and it's actual logo recreated with a cat. It's a sticker. And the not for human use was a sticker on the was, was a sticker I put on them. Come on out here, girl. She's ignoring me now. No, I actually bought it myself. I went to I went to Albertsons at uh, 11 p.m. at night. Picked it up. I was it was after I, uh, I was picked, just picked up my son from work, and it was like I was going to go out to the you know through the register with just this. I was like, no, I, I can't just buy this. So I bought some apple turnovers, a box of chocolate, and just and put them in there, and she was. like, the cashier was like, rung this up, deadpan face, rung up the turnovers, deadpan, rung up the chocolate, and she just kind of like just busted out into a huge smile. <laughs> yeah, it's like. I forgot to comment, like, I never used one of these before, which I haven't. Never even seen one until I opened it up to plant it. Come on. She's already switching to play mode. Yeah, it was like probably cost me about 20 bucks for that prank. Oh, no. But uh, again, it is. Leading up to a real announcement that she is pregnant. I am like 95% sure she's pregnant. Unless she's got moving tumors underneath her skin. Come here. Come here. She's totally playing coy. Sliding backwards on her back towards me. Come here. 
it took me like two hours to design a, 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 a replacement label. I did tell Sarah, Sarah and Shelly first. They were in on it from pretty much the start. And then I told uh, the people who adopted um, past fo fosters of mine, you know, there's a perk of for adopting a foster. Come on, girl. People want to see you too. She's still very playful. She gets the biggest eyes. Yeah, I was watching um, Sarah's visit visitor with those giving vaccinations and and uh, microchips. I was watching uh, Shelly's visit, but I couldn't say anything because I was not supposed to be home. And I sent Lizzie a preview pic that, of Trillian in her costume. And as soon as I posted it, I was like, crap, I just screwed up because I'm not supposed to be posted. I, you know, if I'm not home, I shouldn't be posting something like that. And I think Lizzie started picking up on it. Yes, she's pregnant. I'm 95 to, you know, 100% sure of that. The test itself was fake. I'm hoping somebody would actually develop something like that because that's something that really could be coming in quite handy. <laughs> you just bunny ran it. Lizzie, I will post the rest of the pictures of Trillian in her devil costume after I leave the room. It was, this was a lead in for me in actually announcing that she is pregnant. I believe she has two kittens, one on each side. I thought she only had one on one side. Cause I could see, I saw movement over there, but not on the other side, but that changed. And then there was a, and then a couple of days ago, she woke me up and chirping up a storm. I never heard her make so much noise. And watching the, the DVR, she, she was acting like I was sliding this around underneath her. And then she started getting up and looking at her sides, licking her belly, like wondering what was going on. I felt something moving. And I was pretty sure at that point she was pregnant, but I already bought the pregnancy get test for the gag. So I just played along with it. Sorry, Tam, for talking too much. <laughs> I wish it was real. I really do. That would be so awesome to have such a test. I think she probably has at least two weeks left. And I'm hoping at least two weeks. Because the Black Cat Ball is tomorrow. And if you if you view the event page, you see a, uh, a an event already created for the Black Cat Ball. I will be broadcasting live. There'll be fundraisers for it that you can at home could donate towards the shelter if you wanted to. More information will be coming on that. I got to remember to take breaths for Tam. She's she's seeing. And then next week is the Laps Gala, where Shelley. She laps is uh, Shelly's uh, and Tiny Kitten's partner up there. They work together in cooperation. And I like to support her, 
um, tiny kittens and laps. Like the, you know, it's a lot, I have friends up there that um, volunteer for lap, so I'm gonna help them. She's freaking out. The ki her kittens are probably going like, yay, like a roller coaster, arms up. Okay, let me, I'm gonna close chat down. And if you are pissed off about the test, I'm sorry. If you stayed up to like four o'clock in the morning, hey, she's pregnant. You got what you wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to this cam so you can see her up close and bug eyed. I think this will be like a trophy. I'll leave it there for her to chew on. I've been went for a walk earlier, so like my hair would at least look a little wind tuft. And it was nice out. I went all out for you guys. <laughs> and for those that are, that believe, you know, believed it to be real and all that, and that just, you know, yay! <laughs> Oop, did I bonk you? I'm sorry. She's like, I'm gonna go over here and time out. I'm hoping they get rid of a lot of those wires. Let's go take putting all the cams hooked up to that computer, going over the land. Look at what she's done to this. It's, it's used to go all the way out to the edge. She's up two pounds since she's came here. Okay, the green lift is every time you unravel at least one whole loop, I take it off and add it to my collection. I can actually see the baby bump or I'm trying I'm trying to point to it right <laughs>
she's underneath there. Like switch cams is like she's right behind, completely out of view. That's one of her places she goes right after she bugs out. She's very playful. She li she likes to be loved on for about five minutes and then about 20 minutes of play. Show everybody your eyes. If you're looking for to adopt an older cat, she's about a year old, but older as in not a kitten, she would be a great addition to your home. She seems to tolerate other cats, have no idea how she is with dogs though. Shelly was impressed. <laughs> I just came up with a few things I wanted to do, like use gloves, have pea clumps on a plate, and have that spray. I kind of just ad-libbed everything else, so it didn't have a, any kind of rehearsed feel to it. My ears would have felt like they were red the whole time, though.
So a few things, to, you know, a few actions, a few talking points. The rest of it, I just winged it. I will share on the Critter Room the video that I'm talking about that had um, when she when she freaked out about her belly. It's like, what's moving in there? Sarah just asked me, was that real pee? I was like, yes, that was a real pee clump. Both of them pulled out of the litter box. I actually bought some white Elmer's glue because I was going to make a fake one, a fake pee clump. But I decided... For realism, just grab a real one. That's why I wore the gloves. Because <laughs> otherwise that would have been disgusting. Opened up the bottom of the package here and then taped it shut. Just tape over that. And same with the with the plastic wrap. And each one of the envelopes that the this came in was I carefully cut a straight line along the same side on both of them. Taped that shut after I put it back in there. And Made sure that I did it on the same side, so when I went to open it, I opened the other side. And that's why I opened this top, because that was actually still glued shut. Let's see, let's see, close up of the label. Focus. Get a close up. That was a cute cat, I tell you. That was actually a pregnant cat in the picture. And you played out almost, but not quite. Let's see if we can get some more out of her. Yeah, there she goes. I like how she sneaks around this thing. And she's gone. And she totally butt wiggles.
I also researched how long it took for the actual test to come back positive, minute to two minutes, and that it had to be held straight up and down, even after it was peed on. Here's a baby bump right, right there. Right where you see that full, that light tuft of fur there is point making an arrow. Whoop, let me change camera so you can actually see what I'm talking about. See that light tuft of fur right there? That's pointing to a kitten. Sarah was yelling at her scream, stop smiling. I was smiling because I was excited. It was a geeky thing. It was neat. That's how I really would have acted if I if, I, if that test was real. I'd be like, "This is so cool." Done with the throw stick. How about this one? There's kittens in there. So, how about it, Marticia? Are you gonna wait at least until at least one uh, one week and a couple of days, please? I'm about to step out, and she will probably keep playing for about. Another 30 minutes before she lays back down. Of course, she just laid down. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with a huge bottle of trap light or clear Elmer's glue. I'm sure I can come up with a prank for it. <laughs> Here's the stuff that I already come off of there. It's almost 
as wide as it is. Hoping to make it wide enough to fit in there. A scratching pad. Okay, now things to stimulate her interest. Enjoy the Lady Morticia. Have a nice day.